Yo 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 everybody, what's up? Video videos here and today I'm going to be doing a sort of showcase of um, this sort of town, town slash city that I built quite a while ago and um, I've only just got Minecraft set up and it should be pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? What are they? Are they creepers? Options. I just need to quickly. Yes, I need to change the difficulty to peaceful because I want to show you this this place in peace. I was just going to say what what's one of them things up there, and then um, <clears throat> turned out there were creepers. So we have a sort of dam system here, it's not, not really a dam, it's just like a, a waterfall system um, and it's been artificially created to um, sort of drain into this pond and oh god I can't get out now so let's just um hey chicky what's up huh? oh what you doing eh? yeah that's nice I say we, uh, get out of here, you know? Yeah, you're making silly noises now, and I don't know what you're saying. Oh, now this is nice music. But we have to turn it down, because it's getting pretty loud. So. Yeah, that music's up pretty loud. 15% or so. Maybe even 10. Um... Yeah, we'll just turn down the, where do you get them, um, the sort of sound effects. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So, there we go, um, everyone. We have a pretty good um, town that's been developed here. So this is this is a this is a pretty good um, town um, because it's it's got all the different infrastructure that you would need for a a real life town in it. It's got an airport, train station, and I'm gonna show you it all. Um, coming up in a minute. So hopefully we can get a good uh, Minecraft series started. I'm you know, I do do armor free videos and all, but um, I'm hoping to get some more gameplays done of uh, different kinds, you know, different games, so that we can, um, you know, we can keep the subscribers and we can get more subscribers and basically we can just, um, what you guys are just awesome for watching these videos, really, really. I really do appreciate it, you know, people taking time out of their day to watch videos at other people have produced is just you know fantastic and um, couldn't ask for anything better so there's the um, wow this has grown quite a bit as this since I left it it was all just flat grassland and uh, and now it's just uh, it's just overgrown now okay so this is like a, a, a sort of wall it was originally meant to be like a barrier to, to keep off uh, creepers cause, um, because uh, before all of the this area here was just fenced off and I do have a guard, here he is hello sir my name's um my name's Middlemouth and I've come here to guard your uh, territory I'm just here to keep eyes on what you have to tell me to, to do um is that his heart? Okay, so he's he's um he just stands there, he doesn't really do much to be quite honest with you. I do have a, a better texture pack for this Doku Craft or I hope you pronounce it that way. Doku Craft. And it makes the buildings and the just the, the texture a, a whole lot better than the uh, standard Minecraft texture pack. Um and so yeah we'll just get this all done so um, guys I want to show you this come with me 
So we've got this underground um, system and I do want to show you it in sort of order so we don't get lost. But this goes all the way under the, the sort of wall I just showed you and all the way under the airport and it goes all the way up to obviously I've got lights here, glowstone but it goes all the way up to this other side here and um, this is just a this is the, the boat station down here and it's it's pretty good for sort of um, you know getting to places easier going underground in Minecraft is a whole lot easier than going um, through complex surface systems like this so we'll just take down some trees while we we are here now yeah it should minecraft should play fairly smooth and consistently on this computer i've got because um basically if you have seen the unboxing video of the pc um, it's a pretty hardcore badass PC. It's a um, it's from Ginger Six, a company. Got it relatively cheap. Well, I wouldn't say cheap, but it's it was a good price for a top of the range gaming PC, or at least you could say top of the range, mid range perhaps. Um, and so yeah, I was very very um, pleased with the computer there was a few disappointments when opening the box but I'll let you see that for yourself if you pop over and watch the video and um, it seems to be running all games that I throw at it fairly um, um, well you know so um, hopefully it's going to handle Minecraft just as just as well so um, yeah we'll start we'll start over here at this side so we have this system of um, you know, fencing and just basically sectioning all the different parts of the town off uh, so that it's easier to um, walk around. And it may feel restricted and all, but it's not. It's, it's pretty good um, for what we need it for. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good. We um we have an agreement. Um, I'm glad you agree as well. If you don't, then that's fair enough. But um, anyway, it does section it off. Believe it or not, it does work. It for me, it does um, section off all the different parts of the town. It just makes it a lot easier to go um, walking around. It, you just feel more secure. And yeah, primarily it is to ward off all the nasty monsters. Um, so you can see down there there's the, the track, the train track and that leads all the way across the bridge and all the way to the other settlements that I've built which I will show you um, them as well. So first of all we're just going to start here. So you've got the underground system which goes all the way underneath the airport like we just said. Um, we've got a nice little sort of um, green area here, nice and spacious and it's all fenced off and then down here is the train um, boat station so let's just take a look down here and as you can see it's, it's been um, made specifically to sort of um, take your boat and put it in here so we'll just go for a little boat ride let's just uh, open the infantry here and the boat here okay and we'll just swap this so let's go on our little ride, our little journey down to the uh, rest of the place, now we've got to slow down a bit here because this, oops here, I'll just, oh no, come on oh come on, come on, come on, come on, stop just thrown away my flipping pickaxe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. So we have this nice little um, tiny channel or canal which will take you 
all the way down here under this bridge that I've built. And we'll just take it around quickly. There we go. And yeah, that always gets me, does that? that you knock your head on it and it does knock off part of a life, but it's um there's nothing else you can do really for that. It's the the bridge had to be made like that because obviously for aesthetical purposes etc just makes it a lot better so we'll just turn this corner and as you can see it's the the canal has been designed to guide you around these corners guide you in the right direction which is pretty good um, and then you come all the way down here oh come on okay that's not supposed to happen Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Okay, well we'll just we'll just pretend, okay? So you go down here, you go down this canal, and then you go all the way down here. And again, it's uh, it's sort of a mini current which guides you all the way down into this nice little um, C section here. And then there you go, you can just guide yourself around here, um, and then it leads you all the way around there. So it's it is. Um, pretty good and then you have like a little sort of um, harbour area here port area and this is where you would get off with your boat and then come through here and then you have like this little um, overhang section and then you go all the way up here and there you go uh, there you go you're in the center of the town so you have these glowstone sort of um, lights and then you have these torches which light up the area and we'll go to the shop next so this is like a I don't know what it was intended to be but it's like a, a store, general store Alright, I'm back. So, um, here we have a sort of nice little fountain system, uh, which I put in the middle of the this this central town area, and this is got surrounded by sort of greenery, so it, it's pretty nice and attractive. So let's take a look in our um, crooked mare bed and breakfast or tavern slash I don't know, we'll call it a tavern, and this is where you all sit. Um, and this belongs to Mrs. Doris. We'll call her Mrs. Doris, who owns this. So Mrs. Doris has kindly allowed us to come into her bed and breakfast tavern, thingy-majig, to uh, look at her rooms. And as you can see, she's got absolutely no one staying here. Um, but Mrs. Doris is a bit of a creep, so we, we won't um, blame anyone for that. And again, individual rooms just um, nicely laid out. You've got double bedrooms, single bedrooms. And then you've got um, a final luxury master bedroom at the end here. We'll just take a look at this. And here it is. I think this is where Mrs. Doris stays. Don't like anyone staying here because it's the room that she likes best. But you've got lovely views out here. Um, and then you've got like a balcony system. Oh yeah, you've got an ensuite as well here got a nice um, hot tub heated bath in it um, and then you go outside on the balcony and there you go it's just a nice little view so we'll just exit the tavern and show you another place okay so where to go next I wonder let's go to the bakery which is this building here and in this we have a, a layout which is sort of um, what's that doing there so we've got these individual tables here which are um, designed for 
um, to eat at. And we have a nice little section in here. Now we have an underground cellar, which is um, being laid out to provide all of the cooking ovens. Oh, we're getting freeze. Okay. And here they all are. Whoa, what's happening? I'm getting a lag. Please. I think we're alright. It's just going under there, you see, it makes it f um, lag. Yeah, we're still getting it. I hope it's not going to crash or freeze. Please don't. Okay. So. I might have to just start this again. It's playing up. Oh dear, oh dear, Minecraft, why do you always do this? I'm trying to f show my viewers something and you just decide to get all laggy on me. So anyway, that's that bit. So we have a nice bridge that comes over the railway that exits the, the settlement. And then we have the, uh, the, 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 the actual train station. But first of all, I'll just show you this, which is like the town hall. It's like a you know presidential palace or mayor's palace or whatever you want to call it. And this is quite grand. It's quite big open. And it's just a, a place to hang out for all these lovely MPs to sit down, have a chat. So we have this nice open windowed section over here, uh, which provides a, a lovely view. Um, maybe a 180 degree view. And then we have this nice bedroom over here which belongs to the king or president, prime minister or whatever you want to call them. Just the leader basically. And then we go out here and this still isn't finished yet. So we need to finish it at some point. Um, but you can join me to finish it if you want. Um, we can we can finish this building um, and you know make it a lot better than it is at the minute. Um, and that's it basically um, the the town hall that's um, finished and I was going to put a flag up there and then here we go this is the actual train station so before I I'll give you a quick tour of that but before we actually go out of the town via train I'm going to show you the airport so we have like the li nice little counter here I've got this nice open gla glassed um, building, glowstone, torch, eating slash waiting area and that is that and then obviously you just come out here blah -de -blah, -de blah you just come all the way down here to the exit it's get on your train here and off you go so next we'll go to the um, sort of southernmost tip of the town or northernmost or whatever to show you the um, this building here, this structure and this is basically just like a watchtower um, watches all the, the boats that go by you've got a nice jungle that is uh, developing here and who said that? Mrs Doris, is that you? Mrs Doris I told you not to come out of your tavern after 12 where are you? You do sound quite strange, Mrs. Doris, I must admit. Anyway. You've got all this nice balcony here. Ah, oh, there you are, Mrs. Doris. Yes, viewers, did I introduce you to Mrs. Doris, the blue-eyed sheep that owns the tavern? Yes, I, um, I placed her in charge of my tavern, and she does a good job. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Off you go then. Oh god, I've just killed Mrs. Doris. <laughs> oh no. Well, we'll have to get someone else in, like Porky the Pig or someone to replace her. So we'll just go up into this tower here.
and it should be pretty awesome when this town is finished. It should be. It should be. Um, it should be pretty good. So you've got this nice um, 360 degree view of the town and the um, surrounding area. And you, you, you get a view of all the, uh, any mobs that may be about, um, etc. And it's well lit as well. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that body. Look at that body. Look at that body. Uh, I wake out. Uh, I wake out. I wake out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's creepy, guys. That is um, unintentional, shall we say. Oh, man. Can't get out this way. Come on, let me out. Oh, no. Do you know what I think I've done, guys? What I've done is I've... Yeah. Ah oh, man. I lied. Okay, I didn't lie on purpose. It was an accidental lie. If that makes sense. Um, Basically, what I've done is I have made various changes to this world since I... Um, because I've just got Minecraft for the PC, the, the desktop PC. I used to have it on laptop. And um, the world, this world here was done on the laptop when I had Minecraft on the laptop. Um, so since then, um, I must have, be, since saving it onto a file um, from the laptop, I must have um, basically made changes, made the changes to the, the world and produced the airport since, you know, sending this this world to the the PC. So what that means is, um, is that this this world is uncompleted. You know, this is a this is what the world used to look like before I made the changes. So there's no airport, um, and I spent a I spent a hell of a lot of time on the airport, and I could transfer the airport across to the PC. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Depends if you guys like these Minecraft series and this town. I can um, perhaps show you this this world with the airport in, which it did look stunning. Yeah, it was it was great. But anyway, nevertheless, this world is uncompleted, but still, it um, it is a reflection of what it did used to look like, which I'm happy to say it. As now, you know, all this, all this um, landscape has been changed into an airport. It's been um, cleared and made flat for an airport, an airfield. Ah oh dear. Well, I must have done my changes to that as well. I can't remember. You see, I've I've not been on for a while. Anyway, we can go on our train journey to the um, other part of the world the other settlements in the world and I, I did make yeah I, I do remember now I actually made a train station down here as well ah oh dear Please say I have. Uh, there we go. Get in. Press the button. And here we go. This is my version of the train. This is my sort of train version. Hey, get out the way, dude. Up we go, down we go. It's just like a roller coaster ride, really. That sound does it does sound quite creepy. I've just fenced off all this um, 
train line here to keep away animals, keep away mobs. Yeah, I can't believe it. I made all these changes and they're not even on this save, which is uh, annoying. Slide at the end of the tunnel. And that's the end of it. So you then come up this bridge. You've got like a little halfway house here, which is um I don't know, collecting tickets, or whatever. I, I don't know. I just made the any building I could really. And then you just um go down to this train track again. So let's just um place it down. There we go. Place it down. There we go. Now this is the best bit of the journey, without a doubt. This is just you know a load of fun. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. And it, it's like a it's like a roller coaster ride. It's pretty awesome. And we're stopped. Okay. And so this leads us on to our next settlement, which is like sort of like a village slash small town. Another underground system here. Gee, I uh, did want to show you guys the airport and the the other things that I built, but I just, I don't know. This save is obviously from a long time ago. And you've got like border control here just to keep out all the Minecraft thugs. Making sure all them damn villages can't get through and take the ride into the city and come out of this building and here we go. Boom. Look at them towers and skyscrapers that I built. Um and I did go a little overboard with the light but ignore them. They're just they're just there for looks. Well, no, they're not they're there to keep away the mobs. But and here we have another sort of port area, another boat station. We'll just take a look down here. And this is where all the boats come in, and then they they sort of go in here, go in here. When you get off the boat, you can then go through here, or in fact no, when you're going on the boat you can come through here oh damn it, alright so you go all the way down here, this is where the boats come the, pa the boats are packed over there, and then the boats come in here um, after being on a journey and then again you can just go through here and then get in a park boat And then we'll just go up here. Nice little flowers dying all over the plate here. So all these nice little flowers. I don't know what this is for. This is just a back passage. Please don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> um, and then we have the boat merchant, which is where you buy your boats or rent your boats, whatever. Um, Boats for sale and hire. Bit of a tongue twister. Um, and then up we here, up we go here to the master suite. The merchant's very wealthy. He used to make money off small children. He was a, uh, oh, he was a pretty nasty guy, you know. He uh, took took money from little kids and uh, exploited their their money, their cash. Uh, not in that bad way, though. Oh no, not in that bad way. So here we just have a like a another sort sort of house store, not completed yet, and then we have a, a a house here, and you can go upstairs and 
none of these are completed as of yet, but again, the um, damn, why do I keep doing that? Throwing away the axe. But if you if you're willing to come on a journey with me, guys, um, on the Minecraft, then um, please, I'll be willing to um, you know meet you halfway and deliver the content. Then we have like a gate here, which uh, keeps away all the the mobs. Again, we've got like a, a nice fenced off section, and you can just come back in here, close it. And there you go. So this this is like a sort of residential area slash shopping area, and it's been nicely decorated. Stairs up here, and then we have the courtyard. Oh my God, Mrs. Doris, again. Yeah, I swear that thing just nodded at me then. Yeah, it's back again. Mrs. Doris is back again. <laughs> so here we go. We have the courtyard. We have these extra rooms here, which give a, a 270 view of the whole of this area. Yes, a 270 view, not 360, not 180, 270 view of the area. All right, and then we have to go back here again. So we go all the way back down here. Mrs. Doris, how are you doing this? What are you doing? How, how are you doing it? How are you getting up there? What are you doing? Are you, are you, go away. Go on. Down you go. Damn doing Mrs. Doris, for God's sake. Alright, so we go back down here. We've got another uh, section here. Um, And then we... That's it, basically. You just come in here and I don't know what this place is for. It's just to relax and... It's called today, like a courtyard and all that lot. So that's pretty good though. Next we have the bridge which you can just walk over. Go down there into this uh section here. I don't know what accent that was. Ex just excuse it. We have like a, another harbour slash port area here, which is pretty nice. Going all the way down here, and then we go through here and out here again. This, pl this place is massive. I should have made two videos of it, but never mind. It's just going to be one long video, and I hope you can uh, sit through it and enjoy it all because um, um, it's it's a big place. So we've got a lava moat all the way around here, and I don't want to step in that. So this is a castle, this is a fortified area which keeps away all the mobs. If, you, if you've got nowhere else to go you just come up here. And here I've made sort of like an overhung um, barrier here and it keeps away the mobs so that the spiders etc can't climb up the walls and um, try and get in. And then we have the, the sort of beacon here which gives me my bearings metal door and then here we go this is the fortified complex as I like to call it. I just made that up. But um here we are. And we have like a, a complex system here where you just open and shut these it's like a bridge basically and if you see any mobs coming along you can just open and shut this bridge and it stops from com them from coming in. You've got a button out the way here. and then second door to section it off and then you have like a internal um, building here and you have an underground section as well so this is the safe haven place this is where you go to keep out the way of all the mobs nice bedrooms here what the hell is that are they Endermen? Yeah, they must be holding up a... Oh my god, is that the cube from Transformers? <laughs> uh, I think it is. So we've got the lounge uh, ensuite, and then my bedroom. Whoa, okay, what is that? I swear I didn't intentionally put that up there. So... 
they're the two bedrooms that's as far as I've got really with this underground bit and then we have this button open and closes and then you have like a secret underground section and I'll take you under there we'll just go now and it leads all the way down here and what I've done is I've basically made it so it goes under underneath the lava moat underneath the um, fortified complex all the way down into here and it's like a it's all the way under the sea under the ocean under the sea uh, <laughs> and then you come all the way in here um, and this is like a garden place under the, the water and then you just come up the steps and there we go you're in the middle of nowhere but um, at least it's kept you away from the the mobs it's like an escape route if if all else goes to to fail and you're just getting overrun with creepers and spiders and um, skeletons, zombies, etc. Yeah, that's where you go. But I doubt you'll ever need to use that. But still. And the, yet there's more, believe it or not. There's even more to show you of this world. Um, this is the main house. This sort of is my house. It overlooks, it's on its own island. It overlooks the rest of the city. And we'll just go up these staircases into the hallway, small reading area, library, whatever, um, you know, rooms, um, sort of dining area, bedroom, one of the bedrooms, nice spacious views of the mobs as they flood across the landscape and you're fearing for your life. Out of the doors here you have a lovely balcony to your left you will be exiting to your right you will not be exiting. So there's the balcony and then you just got a massive window here pretty awesome pretty damn awesome I should say so that's the the house I, I seem to remember it being slightly bigger but it's probably the rooms that are making it oh yeah I forgot this section here yeah never mind me so I have like a mining area here and it's where you go for I don't know, building materials or whatever. It's safe digging, basically. Safe digging away from the... Oh, no, no, sorry. Forget that, what I just said. This is actually a cinema room. So there's a cinema. These are all the seats. You know, chilling. And then you have a hot tub here. And then you have a... Well, this was meant to be a, a, a hot room. A, you know, sauna. So not in mining area, should I say? Let me out, damn it! And then we have uh, finally for this building we have a kitchen area. Um, so there's the kitchen or dining room area, and this is the. And where's this place? Oh yeah, the library, the underground library. Yep, I store a lot of books underneath here. Um, and then we just have more space here. So that's it for this building. And we'll keep going to the... This underground... This is a mining area. Oh yeah, this is sort of like a mining storage area. Um... And then we have uh, an outdoor swimming pool. Yep, I've gone luxury. I've gone really luxury here. I've got an indoor. Well, no, it's an outdoor. Well, it's sort of an indoor outdoor pool, shall we say? And um, that's that. Oh yeah, and the tree house as well. God, I can't believe I built all this. I really can't believe it. I just don't know what time I had on my hands when I built this. Must have been back in 2012 or something like that. So anyway, we have the uh, downstairs section of the treehouse. And then we have like a balcony out here. 
Um, and then we have the, if we keep going up to the second story of the treehouse, two story treehouse, which is pretty good. We have the double beds and we have the um, nice spacious views once again. So, what kind of noise is that? Sounds, um, I'm not going to say what it sounds like. Um, and I think that's it. Now, I'll, I will take you up one of them skyscrapers. In fact, I'll take you up that the biggest, the, the tallest one, which is um, you could probably probably land a plane on top of it, which is yeah most likely what I did design it for. And then next to it, you've got like the armory tower, um, but you have to go into the fortified section to get to the tower, uh, the two towers. So what we go, it's a long drawn out process to get up there, but it's still. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with this place. It's uh, it's big, spacious. So what we go these t stairs is lots of stories to climb up. Ah, finally. So, and yet I lied again, you can't land plane on here. I keep forgetting all the changes I've made. Before this was all just a flat surface and it used to go on for ages but now it's just got one single bed up here. So I don't know what I was thinking of when I was making this. But actually I think I might have made a change to this um, since this save by putting a massive overview of the area. I don't know. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I think. Yes, I made a big sort of glass tower and yeah, it looked pretty good. Oh, you see, I made all these changes and I can't remember um, whether I made them or not. I but do believe there's like a bridge section as well where you can get into the armory. Um, don't say I made that change ages ago as well. Yeah, m must have done. So there should be like a bridge going across. Oh yeah, there is one, yeah. Um, and that's where you can go to get easily into the armory. And then you've just got all these sort of um, floors up here. Let's quickly show you. Now this is a bit quicker to get up. So you can get up quickly if there's like an attack by mobs. You can just go in to the single sections, look out, get your archer, um, your bow and arrows and fire, fire away. It's pretty good. Um, storage, all these storage um, sections here. And that's that. So, we'll then go on to the next part of the um, world, which is, um, hopefully you will like it. It's sort of like, a, it's another tower, but it's in the middle of nowhere. It's like an island um, sort of thing. Um, so we get a similar layout to the other um, city slash town in that you have all these buildings, you have nice um, sectioned off areas, plenty of infrastructure, etc. Well, what was that noise? It gives, gives me the creeps, it does, every time. So, I think we're done here now. Yeah, we're done. So now we just need to get over to the final part of the world, which is a... And believe it or not, guys, I have made more changes to this since um, this save. You know, so I've extended the world, made bigger buildings, etc. 
and unfortunately I just can't show them in this video because it's a different save, it's, a, it's an earlier save but um, that aside oh look at the sunset isn't it beautiful it's beautiful, it's burning my eyes it's burning my eyes man burning my eyes Jeez, how how big a sun can you get? That's like as big as I don't know. It's it's massive, and it's square as well, which is very very uh, different. Now, where did this other island go? Because I believe it was somewhere over here. Don't know why I don't just use a boat for this. Oh, there we go, yep, so, there we go, so you've got, like, a big, big tower. Oh, yeah, this was a tower, sorry, I... Yep, so this is actually the tower that's got the big top section, it's not that one over there. Um, this is the one that's got the big top section, and it's got the emergency hatch as well, just in case you need to get out, and, you know, you've got no other means of getting out. And there, there have been times when I've stood up here, um, in the tower, and watched all the mobs try and get in to the um, island I built. So this is like a lava moat and just in case you, you can just open, you smash the glass and let the lava flow in if anything's going to try and get in. Now we have like a, this is an underground uh, bunker just in case any bombs or anything goes off which I highly doubt they will, I highly doubt that they will actually go off. nuclear bunker here we go it goes all the way down here and it does go further down so it's not a small shallow bunker it keeps going all the way down and then here we go it's sort of a place to stay and just in case you're feeling a little less safe then you can go to this section down here and there we go damn I really wish I could show you that airport I really do there's no point dwelling on it now it's should be another video maybe that I could show you that I don't know we'll have to see and so yeah I was pleasantly surprised when um, you could actually get Minecraft well when I got Minecraft for the the big desktop PC because it means that you can damn it ah man you shall not pass um yeah and it's it's a pleasant surprise when you can get on a game that you didn't think you would otherwise be able to you know and it was a case with Minecraft I had problems getting it onto the big desktop PC and eventually you know today I've just tried it out and literally found out that yes you can um do it um found that I could transfer the, the saves across and everything so that was pretty good um, Minecraft probably wouldn't be the same without these these big um, towns I created you know need the saves so that for them to continue so I'll go up to the, the tower in a minute after showing you this sectioned off fence part now down there is just like um, if you can see it sort of like an underground um, walkway I don't know what for exactly Again, you can notice that all of these doors are heavy metal, metallic ones that keep away all, keep away all the mobs. Yeah, fair enough. It might be going overboard, but at the end of the day, these metal doors do keep away the mobs. And then this is the the area where you are now, absolutely in the wild. You know, before I was within my own territory, sectioned off, fenced off, but now I'm in my own. I'm I'm, I'm out in the wilderness. So we've got a long bridge that goes all the way long along here. And I think that is it. I think that's it. So all we've got left now is a tower. So if you've lasted this long guys, uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching because it's it's a it's a big big world that I've created here and I don't know when I had the time to create all this. But there we go. 
It's a huge, huge tower. So it's a ladder system, so it's that tall that you, you you do just need a ladder system to get up there. Stairs would just drive you crazy, you know, you'd be like, oh god, I've uh, left my cup of tea downstairs and I need to go all the way down to, to get it. That, that would just be a pain in reality. You know, I often wonder what would happen if people living in, say, the big skyscrapers in some of these big cities, um, you know, New York, Chicago, etc., what if you you made yourself something or you left something down on the bottom of the ground floor and you were all the way at the top and you just thought, oh no, I need to I need to get myself the snack. I need to get myself um, a cup of coffee or I've forgotten something. And what would you do if you had to go all the way down just to get it and then come back up again? You know, that would be a pain. That would drive me crazy. So... It's all heavily lit up here, so you can actually see it from a distance, see the the tower from a dist distance, and then you can just go up here to the top floor, which is the very top. If you're feeling that insecure, then you can just wait up here in the clouds for all the mobs to go away, although I highly doubt that anything's going to come up this high. And then finally, if you're just feeling as if, damn, I, I'm, I need to get out of here, then that's it. You just come up here, smash the bottom section here, and, yeah, I don't want to smash it. Yeah, let's smash it. Smash the bottom section, and there you go, you're away. So, just some pretty good ideas, really, that have... Um, some I've made up, like that one I made up myself, um, and others I have um, sort of got inspiration from other Minecraftians, as we call them. And that should be about it at the end of this um, for the end of this tour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you haven't fallen asleep halfway through, um, unless you're using it for relaxation purposes, which it isn't intended for. <laughs> um, and that's all I have to show you at the minute everybody so yes thank you very much for watching this video um, please stay tuned for more gameplays um, and more uh, videos of different kinds unboxings reviews you name it and I will hope to see you in the upcoming videos <laughs>